Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin. This is a great piece for your mid-tempo repertoire if you want to play in a pub-like atmosphere or in a, a biker stop or wherever. Uh, because it's, it has a very recognizable uh, arrangement and you can also improvise and stretch it a little by just improvising on E in the middle. That's great. People will love it. Uh, it's better than just improvising blues for three hours. Enjoy it. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, helps my channel to grow. I, rec I will recommend uh, similar songs in the text box as usual under the video. Let's go! Welcome to my help section. Uh, I will count a little bit more, especially um, due to the breaks and also because not so advanced players will also be able to play this and try this. So we, we have an upbeat, one and two and three and four and one and two and two, three and four and two, one and two, two and three and four. And one and two triplets, three and four and one and two and three and four and. This verse repeats with a little, just a little variation, but here it's important uh, that you. Ad I do it again, and and one and two and two three and. Four. Four and two, that you go straight with the triplets. And two, one and two, two and three and four. Finger setting, because you have to reach out to one and two, two and two, three and four. And at this point, you will have already the, f the thumb here. That is very important. The, uh, in the right hand, you play this break. And you have a lot of time. And the, the uh, typical uh, German student <laughs> will sleep in the left hand and will, he, will stay here and play this. And then at some point he will wake up, wakey, wakey, and he will have the fifth finger here, but we have to go down and then it's too late. Everything is too late. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Practice this run down separately. Have a glimpse of the A7 one and two and two three and four and it goes on. Let me just turn the pages. One and two and two three and we go to B. One and two and two three and four and two one. Okay, you get the message. It's really not that hard. And you see we have a variation of uh, the many variations of the eight bar blues where it just goes to one bar of B. One and two and two, three and four and two, one and two and three. One. 
and then we start on the next upbeat is on the three and so one and two and three and four and one and two and two three and four and two one and two and two three and four and now now we have a variation one and and now look at this one and two and two three and four practice these bars where they where you have the walks down separately then they're not keeping you from you know the uh, regular as i said regular german student uh would just play the whole thing over and over and then and then always break up here and then start from the beginning no do it this one and two two and three it's important that you have the third finger here on the a one and two third finger goes here two and two three because otherwise we would have not the thumb be left here four and we go on and here's a little variation one and two two and three and four and two and then we have a little bit of tea oiling my voice I should gargle with a with a sword. I think singers do that, but they also gargle with whiskey. Maybe salted whiskey is the uh, ultimate recipe. Gargling with salted whiskey. Actually, um, you know, malt whiskey. They probably spelled it wrong. It's probably um, um, single salt. So malt whiskey is actually meant to be single salt whiskey. So much about my knowledge about fine drinks. Now we have the solo. And here, yeah, here it's getting a little bit harder. Come on. So we have the E7 and we want to put a bit of juice. The guitarist is playing this. I was playing along the guitarist solo. And here we have this. Yeah, please try. It gives more uh, clashiness and more the crystalline sound of the fifth with the fourth on top. Rest is easy, just repeat. And you will see that here very often I just tremolo the outer voices. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't I don't observe myself that well, except in the mirror. And one and two, two and so if you do just tremolo the outer voices, that will do the trick. If you're more advanced, you do this, but this is just fine. And four and one. One and two and three and four guitarists always. This is easy bit and very effective, and I cannot talk about playing easy bits and being effective. One and two, two and two, three, and this is all rock and roll stuff. And now, uh, uh, sorry. And here also the pianist of. Uh, um, if especially, was it Floyd Kramer here? I'm not sure, but the touch sounds definitely light as Floyd Kramer. So he's he, this bit is played by the guitar. Da, 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 da. It's basically everything from um, like uh, rock and roll piano is always stolen from the guitar. A lot of it, all guitar sounds. But here, now we have the tinkling piano on the record one. I, I simplified it a little bit because he's doing a little bit of freer stuff. You do something like this, which you cannot play, and I'm a good teacher, I make it playable for you. One and two. And here, have a look. One and two and two. two. You do this, over setting to the second finger, back to the first. Why? Because we want to go up on the up to the mountain. Yeah? So one and two and two, two, two. and now up. Uh, four and two. Who? Where am I? Yeah. Yeah. Again. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about this. So again, a seven. One. Two. 
And here we have one. Yeah, one. It's two sixteenths on the on on this on the left hand. One and two and three. It's not that hard. And same against two triplets. One. And we're done. So, solo bit again. Without the guitar stuff, that is too primitive. I feel even ashamed of teaching this. Uh, but the other bit we do. Again, a little bit of tea, I'm sorry. It's the time of the year, at least in Germany. I know some of you are from uh, far away um, lands, like Denmark. No, of course, like Philippines. And you have now the other season. Okay. So, uh, one and two, we are on A7, oh my goodness, one and two. now up, one and two and three and two, four and one and two and three and four and two. And now we play the theme a little bit more advanced, the, the, the verse, one and two and three. Uh, yeah. And let's have a look, last verse. We have this one again, which you practiced before, and now you can use it again, that's very good. One and two and three and four and one and two and two three and four and two. don't forget these triplets i forgot them myself when i played it first um like one and two and two, uh one and two and two, two <laughs> three and four again with upbeat one and two and three and four and one and two and two, two three and four and two, one two and three and four and and uh you know this and we have now going down yeah, you remember the first finger is moving while the right hand playing is sol the solo bit. Uh, you move down and you have the thumb here. And now we have a, uh, we play a little bit with the, uh, give it a bit more juice with the drone lick here. One. Sounds great, no? Let's have a look at that also in detail. We play this again. Left hand moves with thumb, and one, and two, and two, three, and two, four, and two, one. And I do it again with you, because my second name is Generosity. One, uh, one, and two, three, and four and one and two two and third finger here on the a three and two four and two one and one of a then one uh, and then one And we come into the last little bit. One and two, two and three and one and. Now let's have a look. Finger setting here is everything. It's just a one liner. Um, and we, we have a look how we can master this. Now, if you look at the steps, the, uh, the bass, it's the, it's the double bass. Uh, is it done with a double bass? Yeah, I remember it sounds like a double bass on the recording. Now, we have, what are these steps called? Listen, look first at the, at the note steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First beginning is chromatic, 
and makes it easy. You just have to remember where it stops being chromatic. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on, I just have to fix the note. One, uh, one and two and three and four and one, two, here, from here. From the G um, uh, flat, it stops being the last interval is just a minor third. Okay, so now finger setting. One. That's how you get it. Again, look at my finger setting. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Because you loved it so much, this line. One and two and three and four and one and two hey and we had just have the fifth finger left here to do the root and then you just play the and then you've got it you just broke the heart of your first hotel uh now comes a slow replay and I uh, hope you enjoy this one. It's not that long and it's a bit easier, so I'll, I could cater also for, um, for those who prefer a little bit easier arrangement. But don't be fooled if you play this at tempo. Yeah, it becomes harder anyway, and you want to speed that up. Thanks for watching. Slow replay now.